Hey guys, welcome to the live stream. My name is Alberto Cordero, and it's been a it's been a while since the last live stream that I did. So today I'm gonna be working a little bit more on the armor pieces for Hogan. Live stream. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. All right. So so far I have been working with uh, Blender and texturing in System Painter, doing some. Um, I think. Wait, let me show you something here first in System Painter, and let me duplicate this guy. And I'm gonna move it to another layer. Gone here. So you're probably gonna. We have to reduce. I mean, for a second, we have to reduce a lot here because this is too heavy so far, but. I'm going to duplicate this one now and move it to the next layer. And let me go for one. And let's see. Let me apply this and let me uh, delete some of those subdivisions that I actually don't need. Uh, let's see. What can I do here? Okay. I'm probably not going to need the inside, but just for the tutorial for today, I'm probably just going to make an exception. All right, there you go. Okay, let me see. Uh, go to Twitter for a second, guys. This is going to be the low poly, and this one is going to be the high poly. So I'm just going to put this down. There's a lot of subdivisions. But let me do something here real quick because it's going to be much easier. All right. divide a few times let's see how many millions do I get here let's go for one more let's see how it works let's go for a sculpting and I have downloaded a few uh, brushes from orb that guy is freaking awesome His name is Michael Vincent, so he's the author of these brushes. So I'm just gonna use some of those for creating some damage here in the back. But you know, probably let's see. I think I'm gonna create some kind of logo here in the back. Let's see. Sure, right now. Okay, 
da, 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 da. Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Let's go for Skolton. And I think it's too tie here, so I'm just gonna delete this. Move it like that. There you go. So I don't have to. Um, let me activate because I, I think I had. Yeah, there you go. I need to add first. I need to add some base damage for the whole thing. So I'm probably going to. Oh, here's systems. There you go. Uh, let me see the last one for yesterday. Hey, Miel, how you doing? Welcome to the live stream. All right, here is. It's working yesterday on this little thing, but I don't want it to uh, to add any um, to the armor, any kind of logo or something like that. Just because the character, he's a blacksmith. He's not. He doesn't belong to any um, to any other. You know. To identify something like that, so I just I don't I think I need it. We go here. Let's go for see that amazing. Deactivate that. It's too strong. Yeah, let me see. Going for this one. It's too strong. Yeah, need to add that kind of damage. You know that you can feel. This is just general uh, bumps, like a little, just a little, a little bit to make it look that there is something there. And hmm, interesting. Well, this is this is not gonna be visible, so it's fine. I just need to smooth this. I probably not not even gonna need that. So, All right, let's take that off. Computer is kind of slowing down, and it's because I have. Let me do something here for a second. Go for detail three. All right, there you go. Let me get out of uh, school team mode and let's go for this one right here. This is the one I schooled to yesterday, but I'm not going to need it today, so. I already got the the information from this one, so I just can delete it. There you go. Okay, let's get going. And let's go for sculpt. 
Alright. And let's see what we can do here because. I'm trying to create some more like uh, old feeling like the metal has been exposed to the time like years probably that kind of rust feeling so I have my symmetry deactivated because I actually don't need it because there's a symmetry sometimes is just too perfect, right? And in this case, that's the big, the best call actually. Tend to take, make it a make a look. You know what? It's too shiny. Let me see if I can control that. I think it's this one. Yeah, that one is. Okay, mm -mm -mm -mm. let me save. Alright. Those edges are gonna just smash it out right now because it looks really perfect. I don't need that. From faces only, I forgot to check that. Alright, I think this is good for now. The next step, one more little bit here, just a little bit. Alright, there. Okay, there you go. So now let's go for. <coughs> uh, da, da, da. Okay, I just need this one, and I'm going for. Da, 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 da. Stroke is gonna be line. And let me give it um, symmetry. Here I'm gonna need symmetry. a lot of strength something like that there you go doesn't matter how it looks now it totally gonna be smash later Let me take this off. I'm gonna put like space and start creating more random damage here. The problem with, with metal that depends what kind of damage are you trying to create and what kind of like. How was the, the this damage? You know how was made. What kind of weapon they use? Is it rock? Is it metal? Is it uh, is it wood or something like that? Is it bone? So trying to give it a feeling of I think I'm not gonna need this anymore. So let me close it because I just I just love it. Look at the dirty thing here. It's just wow. Anyways, let me close that. And so I can have more speed here. So it's fine. I'm just going to deactivate now the symmetry. So it just can create some more random random damage here. Increase
this is just working right now in the edges because I don't want to go too intense either, so I'm trying to drink some water. Computer has been a little weird today. I don't know what's happening. Trying to create some kind of old one here. This is gonna be freaking awesome. All right, let's keep going with this. Sorry. Let's keep going. Like that. Let me do something here real quick. I'm probably gonna need this. Let me select this one. Come on. Hey Simon, how you doing man? Good to have you here man. Alright, let's see. Uh, I'm probably gonna need. Yeah, let me. Okay, something like this. Good to have you here, dude. How's your scope going? Something like this. Let's go do the same here. <laughs> wow. Oh man. I know that feeling. Where do you live actually? I don't know that. Because your schedule with mine is just really, really off. Alright. I think this is gonna be good. Let me uh, just select this layer. Okay. There we go. Now I have a little bit more information here. There we go. OK, 
Okay, so let's add some more um, some more damage here. Sorry guys, I'm trying to... One second guys. Sweden? Oof. Wow, okay. Yeah, I can see that. That is far. <laughs> Alright, so let's play right now with a little bit more with this. And then we can jump to the, to the other tools. Trying to create something like that. There you go. Come on. I think OBS Studio is just messing with me. It's probably that my older, the OBS Classic, has been acting a little off lately. Like getting slow, recording in a low quality. So I wanted to try today doing doing it with uh, OBS Studio to see what's happening, right? And I noticed that all my connection is just gone. Okay, let's see. I don't want to be too clean, but not too dirty here, this damage. Something like that. All right. Let's go for those magic brushes. I love these brushes. Let's take the... It's too much. I want something here. There you go. It actually looks too pretty. Okay, all right. Okay, there you go. Let me check. Okay. I'm trying to accommodate. This is gonna be a big one, so I just wanna try to make it look like one. So those edges need to be more irregular. Let me go deeper and deeper. Just gonna try to go a little bit more deeper from faces only, just in case. Let's 
trying to make it more um, like a dirty cut, like something not too nice. For that, I need to take those little edges and make it more aggressive. Let's go for da 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 that. Oof. Just wrong. This one's gonna be one specific. Like when you see it was like, ooh, this was just like uh, in a big fight or something happened and uh, he was like not in the game and boom, he got this. Like a, like an old scar. There we go. Some more damage. Kind of like that. I need to make this more dirty. Let's go for the edges and uh, let's see if I can. There you go. Let's see if I can. Uh, I mean, occlusion. Yeah, it gives some. If you see it close, you can see the intensity. Yeah. Looking good. I like it. too long like start here and deep and out here it's kind of like a <clears throat> hey Angel how you doing man good to have you here dude it's been a while I mean I think I need a little bit more subdivision so let's go for uh, one more subdivision maybe six I think this is gonna be what I need so let's let's see here oh yeah definitely there you go okay All right, well, let me change to this one. Not too strong. Oh, yes. This brush creates like, um, there's a pattern here. Is it is a principle and some more other cats at the same time? Look, so you can see there's small cats. See that same thing. All right, there you go. So let's go deep now with this, with the crease tool, and I can actually, you know, make it more.
<laughs> what the heck, Mihal? What the? What happened? Uh, I had to um, close the screen that I'm that I'm always watching in my in my uh, left monitor because something is happening. My um, OBS Studio is sucking all the internet and uh, connection. Everything is is just weird. So I had to open right there in my. Uh, <laughs> had to open the live stream my other monitor right so by the way guys how how do you hear my um my voice is it is it good or because the problem is i changed the arm of the uh of my um of a microphone and now it's stand in my table i was doing a recording today and I can actually hear it better. I don't know if you can, if you guys can hear, you know, something much better, or I don't know. Okay, that's that's a deep one. Totally separated from that one. So let me create some small cuts here. Too deep. Nope. Yeah, kind of like that. All right, it's this is kind of like a, like that, right? Oh, huh. Interesting because I just noticed that. see that every once in a while he just stop and uh, do that well for this kind of damage I was actually watching the other day some kind of metal behavior when you like hit with the metal with the, with the axe something like that that kind of examples and but now no now I'm just going through my head because I already have all the reference that I need in my head <laughs> actually okay that one is good um, I'm not trying to be uh, let me change this one let's see That's too much. No. From here is looking good. I like what I, what I, you know, what I have here so far. Hmm, interesting. And I don't want to be too soft either because this guy is a freaking warrior, so he's gonna be fighting a lot. So it, it's kind of like um, you need to have something. You need to have a balance in between, like it's what is too much and what is like uh, not too much or not enough. Right. And I don't want to just spread those damages right there just because.
Mm, let me go for. Okay. Oh yeah. Huh. Yeah, that's what I was talking about like a, a like a while ago that I only have cuts in this direction. Like if someone goes and just only in that direction, so it's going to be probably um a good idea like redirecting those damage in the other direction too. So Thank you for reminding me that. Whoops. That was too much. There you go. Something like that. I'm not gonna need this. I have, yeah, it's fine. There you go. Some more. Make it more sharp. Something like that. Trying to increase more the balancing between, okay, this is a real, uh, I'm gonna say battle scar, something like that. But I don't wanna leave it just like that because I wanna put an extra. I don't wanna be lazy, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> there we go, sometimes it's just in a hurry 
and you're trying to get the, the thing done, right? And you're just like, okay, I'm just gonna, you know, leave it like that and done for the day, right? Well, that's not the case. Increase the there you go. Okay, let's see the the curve. Come on, Blender, don't do that. Alright Simon, take care man. What's what is this? What's happening here? Okay, there we go. Much better. I tend to wear more sharp impact here. Yeah, I have I have a lot of images like that, like a lot of uh, an extensive gallery of images just for general ideas. For what for what I can see, the stream right now, the buffering is just too bad. I think I'm not gonna be using any more OVS Studio. I need to fix a classic. All right, looking good. I have quite a set of damage here and to export this piece is gonna be a pain but it's alright it's 5 million polygons it's just not too much and let's see okay alright Ouch. Now let's see something here. Go out of sculpting mode. Other hammer? Well, I already got two. All right, and uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, looking good. All right, I think I'm ready for um, to export this piece to um, Substance Painter. 
are going to be calling these backplates. Backplate height, and this one is going to be it's going to be backplate low. So let me see. Let me select backplate low. There you go. Okay. I think the edges are a little too sharp, so I'm probably going to change that. Hmm. No, not in, not in here, obviously. No, it's fine. Okay, not too sharp. Alright, I'm gonna export this one, but first I need to create the UV process. Let me see if it, if it works like this. Just gonna need a random. There we go. And let me use uh, string grab just for a second. And I'm gonna yeah, backplate high like that. And let me apply it. So now I can export this one. OVJ selected only. It's going to be backplate. Backplate low. That was quick. Let's hit this one. <coughs> Oh yeah, control and uh, wait, it's kind of stuck right now. Okay, let's see. what what. Anyways, okay, you, you <laughs> I got distracted. Okay. Mm. Yeah, control in the middle mouse. So let me apply this. There you go. And let's go for export OVJ. It's going to be height. And let's export. Select it only. This can take a while, so How's your character going, Angel? You need to share more in the Discord channel. Yeah, this can take a while. Come on.
Almost done. So the process here is that you export the low, uh, the low poly, and you export the high poly, and then you import the low poly in Subsum Painter and use the high poly for to bake. You know the textures. So that's kind of like a really good um, workflow in this case. Let's see what's happening. That's why this process is it have to be done off of you know live stream. <laughs> Sorry about that guys. It's taking forever. Alright guys, I think I gotta stop here because this is gonna take forever. I can probably do like uh, another live stream just for the second part, working with uh, Subsum Painter. So guys, thank you for watching guys, and uh, it's almost one hour, excellent. Thank you all for being here guys, and see you in the next live stream. Bye bye guys.